is up guys, Delboy here. So former light heavyweight champion Sergei Kovalev is looking to make some big changes in his camp after losing to Andre Ward for second time by TKO. Um, he, he's obviously looking to change his trainer. That was expected in the build up to the second Andre Ward fight. And even before then we've been hearing rumours of an unrest between John David Jackson and Sergei Kovalev. So that's not a big surprise. Any is there any candidates to train Sergei Kovalev? Um, I'm not sure about candidates. I've I've heard Freddie Roach mentioned. I'm not sure he can really improve Kovalev. I've heard um, Vasil Lomachenko's dad. He was another one. But regardless, I think Kovalev has certain certain traits that are going to be hard. You know, he he and Abel Sanchez collaborated it where he said. Kovalev is hard to work with. He's stubborn. He likes to do it, to do things his own way, and and yeah, that's uh, we've sort of heard those rumors before. So whoever he goes to, can they really get the best out of him with, with that sort of attitude? You know, regardless regardless of changing trainers, Kovalev definitely has to do some personal development and improve himself in terms of his mentality and his willingness to learn and listen to other people. So, yeah, change, uh, changing train is needed, and um, he definitely needs to look at himself and uh, adjust a few things in, in terms of his, in terms of his mentality and the way he keeps himself in shape after fights. He definitely needs to improve that. In regards to Sergei Kovalev going to cruiserweight, I'm not entirely sure. Is he big enough for cruiserweight? He was a big light heavyweight, but you have you, it's. The thing is, with going going from light heavyweight to cruiserweight, it's not like going from uh, super middleweight to light heavyweight. It's a big jump. You're fighting small heavyweights, you know. So I'm not sure whether Sergei Kovalev could make. Oh, sorry, I'm not sure Sergei Kovalev could compete at cruiserweight in terms of the champions. Kovalev is saying he has to lose 10 to 11 kilos, which is around 24 pounds, to make light heavyweight. That is a big weight cut, but. You know, it's not on. It's not out of a sort of. It's not out of the ordinary. You know. Um. But yeah, cruiserweight. I'm not so sure. I mean, listen. If Kovalev struggles with with Ward's body attack, how's he going to deal with Gassiev's, who's a big, big puncher, in a bigger weight class? He's much bigger than Andre Ward. He's like six foot three, big puncher. You know, a decent technician in terms of the way he throws his shots. Sergei Kovalev cannot beat Murat Gasayev, as far as I'm concerned. He uh, he can't beat Usyk. They're too big for him. Even a guy, even a smaller cruiserweight like Bradis. When when I looked at Bradis versus Marco Hook, he still looks more dynamic than Kovalev in, in his in his offense. You know, he was landing uppercuts from. Um, behind his jab he was he was countering well he was more dynamic you know and i'm not sure kovalev can compete with these top level cruiserweights number one because of their, their bigger men but secondly these cruiserweights are not slight they're not slouches they're good fighters they're not like um sort of poor world champions every single cruiserweight world champion is a very good fighter gasayev yusik um bradis and lebedev all of these guys are world class you know but um, but yeah, maybe there's some big fights at cruiserweight for Sergei Kovalev. Maybe a fight with Denis Lebedev in Russia. Maybe that's a big fight for him. Maybe a fight with Gasayev. Maybe that's a big fight in Russia. There could be potentially some 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 decent money fights for him there. But in terms of him having success, I don't think Kovalev can beat any of the champions. I can't see it. They're too big. Um, they've got good skill sets as well, and I don't think Kovalev's skills are enough. To bridge that gap from light heavyweight to cruiserweight. I think Andre Ward would struggle if he moved up. So I don't think Kovalev can do it. Personally. But um, but yeah. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think Kovalev can do have a success of cruiserweight? We saw Tony Bellew go to cruiserweight. And he won a world title. But Bellew won a world title against Makabu. Makabu was a dangerous fighter. But he wasn't as proven as these guys who hold belts now. That's a reality. And... Maybe Kovalev could somehow snag a belt, but I can't see him beating any of the, any of the co uh, current champions. What do you guys think? Maybe I'm am I um am I writing off Kovalev too much? 
I personally, don't, I don't think so because I've always, I've always rated Kovalev, and this channel, you can go through my videos, I've always rated him, but I don't rate him to the extent that I could sort of see him bridging the gap between light heavyweight and cruiserweight. I just, I just can't see it. What do you guys think, though? Peace.